You want to talk a little bit about why you picked Tinkerbell? Manette Monroe is one of those people who sees each day as a whole new opportunity. A chance to do one of the three things she loves the most. Teaching, solving mysteries, and anything to do with horses. Oh, absolutely. I rode as a child. I competed professionally for many years in the middle part of my life. And now I do it just, I still compete nationally, but as an amateur. When it was time to find a career, she turned to teaching at high schools and community colleges. Could have done that forever, but at the age of 43, she developed an itch she couldn't scratch. The urge to try something different, something bold. She wanted to become a doctor. But I heard that they didn't take old people in medical school. That if you're over 26, your odds of getting med school were very, very slim. Instead of stopping her, she took it as a challenge. Oh, I've never been afraid to jump into the deep end because I'm a pretty good swimmer. I mean, I've reinvented myself so many times already. Why not? And the seemingly impossible became reality. Manette Monroe became Dr. Monroe. And her passion for teaching also fulfilled when at the age of 51, she was named assistant professor of pathology at the University of Central Florida College of Medicine. Now all she had to do was find a way to include her love of horses. Talk to me about what you're seeing and feeling and smelling and sensing when you're working together with the horse. So I started researching some of the treatments that had been done with veterans and PTSD and traumatic brain injury and discovered there were a lot of kind of just stories about it, but not any real empirical research, no, no evidence-based research yet. This was her opportunity, a groundbreaking study of equine therapy. Dr. Monroe had found a way to combine all three of her life's passions, thanks to the opportunities provided by the UCF Medical School. Keep your heels down, shoulders back, military posture, relaxed. This facility is allowing you to do work that's never been done before. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. It's, it's just such a creative place and, and, and really allows you to be the kind of physician and the kind of teacher and, more importantly, the kind of person that you want to be and to explore all those different opportunities. This opportunity could change the lives of those suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. We're the only college of medicine and I'm the only medical physician who is out, actually out here working with the veterans. Lyndon Ortiz served in the Marines until he suffered a debilitating injury that left his life in a downward spiral. Well, actually, when, before I started here, I had just dropped out of college, got divorced. I was, like I said, I was in a dark hole. But this one, this, this structure from here, just volunteering and then doing the veterans program got me back on track. I'm back in school. I'm, look, I'm getting my master's. It's n something I never thought possible. After his case of PTSD, Chris Veit wondered if he'd ever be himself again, until working with horses seemed to change everything. To be able to see myself being able to get back into the swing of things, be able to see my family noticing that I'm getting back into the swing of things, yeah, it gives me chills right now. It's just, it's an amazing feeling just to know that I'm on my way back. You know, even though it might take some time, at one point I will be back and, uh, and, and I'll be happier than ever. Equine therapy even helped Steve Molnauer, whose long army career was ended by a traumatic brain injury. The horses has helped me to learn to communicate better with not only my family, but people in general. That makes me have hope. It makes me have hope that people who are struggling with other, all kinds of issues in their lives, from isolation and loneliness and overreaction to stimuli and all the things that go along with PTSD and, and, and with being a veteran returning to civilian life, it gives me hope that there is life ahead for these young men and young women who come and work with us. And now I see that every prescription should have come with a pill. There's other, uh, other ways of therapy to help veterans with post-traumatic stress. That's a good job. Keep your pace up. Beautiful spacing. Dr. Manette Monroe is changing lives, all because she found a way to combine her three greatest passions to make a difference for others. Her outlook on life, willingness to take risks, and desire to dream have led her to a fulfilling life of purpose. And who knows what's next? But what drives you? Is it passion? Is it challenge? Is it accomplishment? It's curiosity. I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Literally cannot wait to see what new thing is going to unfold in my life tomorrow. And something fantastic happens almost every single day. Oh.